Um, one of the most interesting um, bits of recent work uh, is a book with a very provocative title, Why So Many Incompetent Men. Have you, have you run across that one? Oh, yeah, that book is a fascinating book. <laughs> I was asked to write a foreword for it, and I was like, you know, I'm not really sure I'm ready to go there. But he, um, um, the, 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 the author makes a fascinating point, which is that when it comes to leadership, um, that we tend to confuse confidence with competence. And that very often women are quite happy to be softly, quietly, unglamorously competent. And they don't go, you know, yelling to the skies about it and they don't promote themselves so much about it. Um, and I was wondering, uh, you know, is there any prospect that that could change, do you think? I think, you know, one thing I noticed, and, and I'm fascinated by the role of crisis in how our uh, definitions of leadership evolve. But in 2008, um, I was at a huge conference in Dobiel, a big women's conference, and the consensus of the women was, these guys have been telling us that we had no idea what we were doing, and look what they've done. So it was, and I think that part of that irrational exuberance uh, that preceded 2008 was really a consequence of overconfidence. One of the great points that uh, the author Tommaso uh, Pre Music Tomorrow makes in that book that you cite is that the biggest leadership problem in organizations is that they have no idea how to spot overconfidence mm -hmm. in men. That they believe that extreme confidence means that you know, he can get the job done. And, and no matter how many times we see overconfident, it's not confident men that are the problem, it's overconfident men mm -hmm. that are the problem. But how many times we've seen them fail, organizations still get fooled. So I think it's very interesting because over the last few years, there's been a big push. You know, what women need is more confidence. Um, you know, we have to build that up, confidence curve and things like that. It's been a lot of talk about that. But I think that what really is needed above all and the big lesson for women from this book is that what we need to do is to be better at articulating and understanding the nature of our con competence so that we can convey it clearly. It's not self-promotion, it's what your organization really needs to know. Mm -hmm.